scrap, 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 scrap. And now it's the flip side here with Adesanya versus Vittori, okay? Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll expand upon that. When I first heard this fight was announced, it was fresh off of, or not, it's kind of fresh off of Adesanya losing to Jan Blahovic mm-hmm. and getting unquestionably outgrappled. See, Adesanya see, see. looked like he had no defensive grappling. His hips yes. were flat on the ground, threw up no submissions, created no scrambles. And then Vittori's coming in, the last guy to plant him on his ass and take him down. So I was like, Vittori, uh, after that Holland fight, it seems like he's figuring out the the balance between his striking and his grappling. And he seems to be a versatile fighter and a durable fighter. Mm. I kind of like him against Adesanya here. Uh, but, I'm skeptical. But... My skepticism has increased as time has gone on. I look at Adesanya, not just his MMA record, but I look at the amount of experience he's accumulated kickboxing and the fact that I believe that Jan Blahovic fight, mm-hmm. a guy bigger than him who used that grappling advantage, mm-hmm. could have been the best thing for him ahead of this fight. This is almost an opportunity for Israel Adesanya to show, uh, to show that he's not to be trifled with in the same way at 185 pounds, and now I'm leaning towards him. My, I, I just... I don't, I don't. I just don't understand. Marvin Vittori is not really too much different of a fighter than he was when they first fought, in my opinion. And he lost a split decision. This is going to so, be a five rounder. So now I having I just having I don't know how the hell their first fight was a split decision. By the way, I just got to put that out there because Vittori did not have much success with his grappling until the last no, round. I, I had fight. two to one Israel. I don't understand that. So we'll just. We'll chalk that one up, but here's what I say. Here's what I will say from watching that fight that makes me really skeptical because Victoria has not fought someone who's going to be doing these same things. First is the feints. The feints were fucking with Vittori really fucking hard the entire fight. Mm-hmm. And what the feints do is the fight wears on, you get tired. And it gets even harder because you're, ten, you're tensing, tensing, you're tense, tensing, ten, tensing. And Vittori, he, what well, he's gonna try and be more, I guess, angry in this first than the first <laughs> fight. More angry. That's what he does. Yeah. He turns into but, an ogre, and it helps. But at the same time, if he's also getting popped, and you know, is he's throwing more feints? I just don't see how Marvin Vittori has evolved as a fighter that makes me see his. The, like I just don't. The things like between the feints, between is he able to stuff a good amount of his takedowns, especially earlier in the fight, and when you can't bank points in earlier in the in the, when you're doing that takedown stuff, I just I don't see him taking three rounds from Israel Adesanya in a five round fight, and I don't see him finishing the fight. It's just uh, I feel as though Izzy's going to be bigger than when they first fought. He's going to be having gone up to two of five. He didn't. He says he didn't do that to do anything, but I think he's going to be a little bit larger, at least stronger. I f- and Marvin Vittori had a lot of success against Kevin Holland, yeah, but that's not Israel Adesanya. Jack Hermanson, yeah, not Israel yeah, Adesanya. Mind then, you, that fight against Holland was just a couple of weeks after he lost to Derek Brunson and yeah, got yeah. taken down a bunch of times and punched a bunch of times. Yeah, and it's just like, I understand that because Israel just lost to Jan, and I'm the first person to say he just got taken down, you know, talk a few 12 time takedowns. Mm-hmm. But I just. Marvin Vittori is not the type, is not the dude who's who has evolved to the point where he's going to be usurping Israel from the throne. Maybe if he had fought someone more dynamic recently, and he has showed that he can handle a five round fight in the pocket with someone throwing feints and making him actually think about shit. Mm-hmm. But I don't give a fuck if he beats grapplers in Kevin Holland. Yeah, and I I hear what you're saying about uh, evolution. I haven't seen on, in the film some tremendous leaps technically by Marvin Vittori. I also don't know if that's the most important thing. Sometimes mm. it's just being in there with somebody and realizing what worked, what didn't. Mm-hmm. In that third round, he kicked up the urgency, and I think that's why he found success with his takedowns. He was letting the fight come to him more, and, well, the fight was coming to him. He, he, was, getting, yeah. he, was, he was getting uh, outworked. He was uh, getting out mm-hmm. until he pushed the initiative. And that's kind of the wrestling way, though, is it's like running through that brick wall, breaking the yeah. threshold, and establishing dominance. I'm, I'm just explaining the other yeah. side of the coin here. Oh. I also see him at, he's a southpaw. Mm. So right there you got some wonkiness. And he's not the most, like, orthodox in the way he moves necessarily. Like, And I don't mean that in the sense of being a orthodox for the southpaw fighter, but just in terms of, like, 
his coordination and the way he bounces around his rhythm as a fighter is a little bit offbeat. And I think that causes problems for his opponents as well. And he's also very durable. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's shined in a number of his fights. And these variables all together, the capacity to operate as an offensive grappler, uh, and a pretty good one, the ability to absorb punishment, mm -hmm. uh, and his, his status as a southpaw, and a decent counterpunching southpaw, all of these things, like they give you a weird combination of variables to think about, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not the easiest puzzle to solve, and that's why he wins these fights. Yeah. He, he's a good fighter. I just think at the end of the day, Adesanya is, is still special. He's going to have the the gas tank that's going to prevail later in these rounds, especially without the additional bloat that he had at 205 pounds. And I think that the grappling is going to actually expend more on the ha on behalf of Vittori trying to cover this ground than it is for Adesanya. Yes. And that's why I see him stacking up and, and performing well late mm -hmm. in the fight. Scrap, 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 scrap. I'm mean, I'm fierce, I'm mad, I'm rude, I got that pro fighter attitude I'm in the octagon with the podcast on, let's talk about it on Scrap the 2D